Breaking overnight, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket lifting off from the Cape on board a spacecraft bound for the moon. Some local students are keeping a close watch on this mission. News 6's Mark Lehman joins us live from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach. And students actually have a special camera on board. Yeah, a group of 26 students here developing Eagle Cam. It's about half the size of a loaf of bread and designed to take pictures of this spacecraft as it touches down on the lunar, on the, uh, lunar surface. That's the goal, at least. All this is moving towards an eventual uh, goal of returning uh, astronauts to the moon. Go IM-1 and the Odysseus Lunar Lander. A highly anticipated mission to the moon launching from Kennedy Space Center overnight. SpaceX gave them a wonderful ride. Great launch, uh, really clear sky. We can see it all the way up to the, up, up to the, well, not to the moon, but on the way. <laughs> on board is a lander for intuitive machines. It's part of NASA's commercial lunar payload initiative. Working hand in hand with the Artemis campaign, it's designed to improve landing precision and pave the way for future astronaut missions to the moon. The goal is in the long term is for these clips companies to be able to take to the moon work or goods or services of other bigger companies that just want to do work in space. There's also a special payload on board. A mini satellite camera system was developed by students at Embry-Riddle. Eagle Cam is designed to capture a series of images of the descending spacecraft. It's a lot of excitement. So we've been working for this for a couple of years now and everything's coming to fruition. This morning's launch comes after a previous lander malfunctioned in space last month, never reaching the lunar surface. Those behind this mission are hoping for a much better outcome. We also had to happen a little bit of anxiety, but we're just hoping for all the best. The Nova Sea lander is targeted to touch down a week from today on February 22nd. Now, if successful, this lander will be the first to actually make it to the lunar surface in more than 50 years. For now, reporting live in Daytona Beach, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6. Thank you, Mark.